you know, there are designer dupes and there are designer dupes. I'm actually speaking of the, the very cheap ones that when you wear it, everybody knows that this one is a bar. Yes, that is the English to use, that's the word to use. Don't wear it. channel if this is your first time here my name is Nsikak and welcome to my youtube channel please stick around don't make this the last time you're seeing me you'll find something you like i promise and if you're a returning alpha team member thank you for always clicking that link thank you for always checking up and thank you for being part of the team. I really, really appreciate you guys. So you can see by the title of this video that we are going to be talking about how to look expensive on a budget. If you know me very well, you will know that I don't like to do too much on trying to look good. I don't like to spend too much because I'm on a budget. See, it's on, it's on a budget, you know, and I wouldn't want to spend a ridiculous amount of money just because I want to look expensive or I want to look good. So, disclaimer, please, this is just my opinion on what I think might be very different for you and all of that, but you can still drop your opinions in the comment section. So... We can talk about it so first off i want to tell you that dripping in designers is not dripping in glory like this yeah you 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 can look good it's expensive but dressing up in designers and head to toe and you're mixing and matching and making it look ridiculous is not doesn't look expensive at all sometimes people wear a lot of designers on their bodies they end up looking very funny very very funny so wearing expensive things doesn't mean you look expensive wearing expensive things doesn't mean you look good in, the, in them you know because first you have to look at your body your body type and all of that but i hold it so let's get started so first off we're going to talk about your hygiene your hygiene really really matters to the whole looking expensive on a budget because you could be dripping all you want and if you're smelling and your clothes you have stains on it and your mouth is smelling and all of that you're not dripping you're not you're not looking expensive at all sincerely speaking so first off it is your hygiene how you take care of yourself you drink a lot of water you make sure your clothes are well tailored clean ironed and you look good you smell good your mouth is not smelling you know that's where it starts it starts from you as a person you look like you're taking good care of yourself because when once you look like you're taking good care of yourself you look expensive already number two is your clothes this part is the part i really like since you do not have to spend millions you do not have to break the bank to look good you know we have this idea that when well, once is not expensive it's not good it's not going to be good people just have that mentality that if it's not expensive then it's not nice or it's not going to work or something it doesn't have to be too expensive it doesn't even have you don't have to break the bank to wear good clothes i mean you can go into a market and buy nice affordable clothes wash them iron them wear them make sure it fits your body make sure it is well tailored make sure it fits your body make sure it is neat and clean for so your body type and all of that you look good you don't have to wear what everybody's wearing and you know the most annoying part is when Maybe you have a designer and you have the dupes people are making and you definitely know that this doesn't even look half like the designer. It doesn't even look good. When you, once you wear it, somebody will know that this one is it's not LV you're wearing and you're still wearing it. It doesn't look expensive at all. Sincerely speaking, I, I really find people who wear um, designer dupes. You know, there are designer dupes and there are designer dupes. 
I'm actually speaking of the, the very cheap ones that when you wear it, everybody knows that this one is a bar. Yes, that is English to use. That's the word to use. Don't wear it. You can invest in basics. You know, a nice, well tailored blazer, a pant trouser, good jeans, nice tank tops, nice pretty, uh, pretty gowns. See, the thrift market is really, really helping lives these days. I won't lie. If you don't know where to buy these things, Go to the thrift shop, go to the market, you will find nice and affordable. I don't know why people still have that mentality that if it is thrift, it's not making sense. No, they are very nice and affordable thrift wears in the market this day. You, you even have online Instagram shops that you can actually buy from. So buy what you can afford, but make sure it's neat and clean. Find people that sell neat and clean stuffs, buy what you can afford. Tailor them well to your, your size, wash them, iron them, wear them. You will love yourself. You don't even have to break the bank. So this particular one I want to talk about, this segment I want to talk about is not my favorite. It's not my thing. But I've realized it has contributed or it contributes to making you look expensive even when you're on a budget. And it has to be make up. Sis. I didn't buy my lip gloss. I didn't own any lip gloss until last month. That's when I bought my first lip gloss. So, just so you know, it's not my thing. But, you know, there's this confidence. I know that you can go out bare first without makeup and you still have confidence. But, let's, let's be sincere. It tops up your confidence. It's giving what it's supposed to give. So you can just invest in a good foundation. I'm actually not talking about those foundations that break and all of that. Good foundation, good powder, eyeshadow palette, lashes, because sis, lashes is magic. It does, I don't know how it does it, it just ups your game. I wanted to make this video without lashes and I was looking very funny. I had to go back and put them on. So what I'm trying to say is lashes lip gloss it tops up the game makes you look expensive even when you're on a budget please avoid buying all those cracked cheap um foundation this is where you have to invest money buy good foundation and use it and you will love yourself you will thank yourself because i mean you get into a place and you're all feeling makeup on fleek clothes on fleek everything on fleek i smell good they can't tell you nothing nothing so the next segment we're going to talk about is going to be your nail sis i'm sorry but you could be a fan but you, you see all those unnecessarily long nails where you can't even hold something when you're trying to get things done and those ones where you have become coarse and they have crystals and big big stones and I have not made such nails before but it looks very very uncomfortable when i see it because i used to make long nails and i know how uncomfortable that could have been that was so imagine how uncomfortable this one will be when you have extremely long nails and it doesn't it doesn't scream expensive at all i'm sorry if you like to do this it's fine but to me my opinion it doesn't scream expensive at all if you're going to make your nails Make it, make the length normal. Like find nice na the nails. You can actually leave your nails like this. There's really nothing wrong with it. It looks good. You can paint it, you know, but do not leave cheap nails, sis. You know all those nails where the 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 paint is all gone, the quitex is all gone. No. We're not accepting that because it makes you no matter what you wear, if somebody looks at your fingers or your toenails and it looks very funny, it doesn't scream expensive at all. Doesn't scream expensive at all. So keep your nails bare or get them painted. And if you're trying to add artificial nails, make it moderate and look good. You don't have to do what everybody's doing in the world. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. So the next one is hair. Since I know we're on a budget, yeah but you have to invest in good hairs 
If you're the type that likes to wear wigs a lot, try and invest small money into buying a good wig. Or if you're the type that likes to keep your natural hair, try to take good care of it. It's really hard to take care of natural hair. You just have to be very dedicated, let's be sincere. So try to be dedicated with your natural hair. Try to style it. There are a lot of videos on YouTube where you can style your natural hair and you're looking all bomb. Nobody said you have to wear fake hairs. But if you're going to wear fake hairs, if you're going to wear wigs, get them clean make sure it's clean it's smelling nice make sure if it's a straight hair you've straightened it and it looks good just make sure your hair is well laid whenever you're stepping out so that whatever may come you know that you're confident my hair is on fleek i'm looking good no time how you smell really really matters sis bro i know somebody i met few years ago and I met him for like a few minutes in a day. And I can't remember his name, but I still remember how awesome he was smelling that day. Yeah. So how you smell is as important as what you wear. It's as important as anything else. Because you cannot look good, you cannot dress good and your hair is on fleek, your makeup is on fleek, everything is on fleek, your clothes is well tailored, iron, and you are smelling bad. It is a great turn off. I always say this, you do not have to break the band to smell good. I'm not telling you go and buy expensive designer perfumes, no. I am telling you invest in a good deodorant, a good body mist, and a good perfume. It doesn't have to be expensive. There are designer dupes out there everywhere in the market, very, very affordable. You can find perfumes for as cheap as 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. You can find perfumes of that range. You can even find perfumes cheaper than that. All those pocket perfumes. So you do not have any reason to smell bad, sis. You do not have any reason to smell bad because you can just start with three. Jodorant, body mist, and a perfume and you're good to go and believe me you're not going to spend more than ten thousand i'm not even sure it's reach ten thousand on that you get so smelling good really really has a nice effect it leaves a long lasting effect on people he makes people remember you like oh one time this girl smelled very nice i really liked it so top up your game smell good make sure that in as much as everything is complete you're smelling good so that you can confidently stand next to somebody and you're not bothered because you know that see i'm smelling good so do yourself that favor this one i'm about to talk about is something i have neglected for so long if you know me well you know i don't wear earrings i don't i didn't used to wear all these things i wasn't a fan because I felt it was stressful. I felt if I put them on, I'm going to have headache. My ears going to itch and all of that. But sees the confidence that adds up when you start wearing accessories is out of this world. I won't even lie to you because I am a witness. I have experienced it, and I'm telling you that it is the bomb. The confidence that comes from when you start wearing accessories, you start wearing necklaces. If you're the type that likes those, those chunky necklaces, earrings, and you just look good. If you're the type that likes to wear rings, it's amazing. But please do not overdo. Do not wear too much on your neck, too much on your ears, too much on your hands, and then look very funny. Minimalist do the most for me. You know, when you wear a simple necklace, your wristwatch is on fleek, your earrings, and then you look good. There are shops on Instagram. I think um, Nonye Official, she's doing the Lord's work, that they sell affordable accessories. You can find accessory for like 5,000 naira. It won't fade. Like, Noye tells you it won't fade and it won't fade. You can find accessories for like 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, and you are going to be looking bang. Bang, sis, because 
you don't have to go out with your bear unless the, the clothes you're wearing doesn't need necklace and all of that but try and accessorize if you're the type that likes to stack up your hands do it minimally try and look good adding accessories especially gold accessories to your wardrobe is going to make whatever you wear look expensive even when you're on a budget the last thing i'm going to talk about is going to be how you act in public this should have come after hygiene but let's just talk about it anyway since you're not allowed to be outside and you're cussing you can do that when you're inside but when you're outside it is advised you hold yourself in an expensive manner because no matter what you wear if you cannot give yourself respect nobody will give it to you no matter what you wear if you cannot be, be posh about the way you act nobody will answer you so you're not allowed to be cussing in public you're not allowed to be saying some nasty words in public and you're loud you know people who go out to eat or something and instead of just this person is sitting right next to you have a normal discussion so people just go loud about it and you're not allowed to do that if you're trying to look expensive even when you're on a budget you're supposed to hold yourself have conversations easily mind what you say in public and chin up look good feel good about yourself feel good because Somebody knows when you are confident with yourself. So imagine you dress well, you look good, everything is on fleek and you're shy and you're you are, you are scared or whatever. It doesn't make sense. So if you're paying, you look good, your hair is nice, everything is nice, feel good with yourself. Look good, be confident, you smell good. So let me know what you guys think. In the comment section let me know your opinions if you have more opinions on how we can look expensive on the budget drop it down there and please guys don't forget to subscribe get me to a hundred subscribers please I'm just doing my best down here please let me know if you want more of this beauty on a budget expensive on a budget videos and your girl is here to give it to you and i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys bye